Chile has elected the left-wing candidate Gabriel Boric as their new president. The former student activist won 55% of the vote, well ahead of his far-right rival, Jose Antonio Cast. Our South America correspondent, Katie Watson, reports. Within minutes of polls closing, the fans started gathering. The victory was quick and definitive. Richard supporters filled the streets of central Santiago, happy their man had won. My daughter will grow up in a freer country, this woman told me, with rights for women, better education. We want Chile to flourish in freedom. And for 11-year-old Amelia, who can't even vote... Yes, uh, because he went to uh, do good things at, at Chile, uh, like uh, the, um, the pr protecting the animals, the, the um, environment, uh, and, and the children, that, and it's so important that for Chile. Speaking to the nation, Gabriel Boric promised to lead for everyone. I know that in the coming years, Chile's future is at stake, so I guarantee you that I'll be a president that looks after democracy and not risk it, that takes care of what he says, that always looks for unity, that will attend to people's needs every day, that firmly stands up against the privilege of the few and work every day for the Chilean families to have a good quality of life. For many, this is a natural conclusion of the past few years. It was 2019 that protests took over the streets of Chile. They began with a rise in transport costs, but they evolved to challenge the deep inequalities in a country known for its economic stability. A year later, Chileans voted to rip up its old dictatorship-era constitution and write a newer, more inclusive one. But these elections also revived the ghost of Chile's dictatorship past. Those on the left voted to ensure José Antonio Cast would lose, a man who talked fondly of former dictator Augusto Pinochet. Paz Márquez is 18 and trying to get to university to study medicine. Her whole family voted for Cast. She's worried about the future under Boric, a man she thinks is influenced by communists. It's a view shared by her mum. I don't like his ideas. He's charming, but there is no way there will be stability with him. There are lots of scars in the country, but unfortunately, the dictatorship was necessary because of the communists. This is a new era for Chile, and a very different kind of president. A 35-year-old former student leader who is now the leader of his own country. His biggest challenge will be to unite the millions of Chileans who voted for the other side. Katie Watson, BBC News, in Santiago.